hi everybody welcome back to laura a vlogs um i just wanted to pop in chat you know um get some stuff off my chest i have not been feeling so great emotionally and i think it has to do with so many changes that has been happening to me as of lately so i'm just feel like very consumed overwhelmed and I've been feeling a lot of triggers and reflecting a lot of stuff that I've been through in my past years, which a lot of you guys might know, might not know, but um, it's just been so overwhelming and I just been nonstop crying, like on and off. I, and if you guys see my eye, my, I don't, I'm, this is some random thing that happened to me on Sunday morning. I woke up not realizing what was going on with my eye and I go to the bathroom to wash my teeth. And then when I notice my eye and I'm going to come a little closer, it's a blood vessel popped in my eye and I don't feel pain. I still can't see. And I just thought it was just a very random thing to happen. Um, I felt my eye a little irritated the day before and I, I was at work, but I, I suffer with dry eyes. So I thought it was just my eyes feeling dry. You know, I needed to add some drops, but I haven't had the time because I've been working quite a few days consistently. But when I had Sunday off and woke up, I saw that happening and I, I was kind of like freaked out because I never had an issue with my eye regarding to blood vessels, you know, bursting. I don't feel pain. I can still see. And then I read online that it tends to happen to people if they laugh or cough or something. That adds a little stress to the eye and then the the vessels tend to burst and the treatment i read online is just keep adding some like tear tear artificial tears back in the eyes which i still have some teardrops <laughs> and um and let it like let it um heal it's gonna take about two weeks if I don't see any improvement in two weeks, then I definitely have to get my eye checked out. So that is just like one random thing that is just kind of freaked me out. And then on top of that, I've been going through a lot of different emotions. It's been really hard because, you know, it's I've been going through positive changes regarding to me being employed again and trying to work. But I have a tendency that when I start working, I expect so much out of myself. And I tend to be really hard. And when I feel like I'm not excelling the rate that I want to excel, I feel like I feel like I, I'm not capable. And then a lot of triggers starts happening. All these um, self-negative thoughts starts coming in and start thinking about, hey, you know, you suck. You, you, you know you need to do better. And, and, and it's, these are things that unfortunately that I was pre-programmed as a child. So I started reflecting about this and thinking about how, you know, when you are a child, you don't realize what you're being programmed and being raised in a self negative environment that unfortunately, you know, my mom did her best, but she wasn't capable to understand the different aspects of parenting correctly instilled a lot of, you know, things into a child 
And unfortunately, subconsciously, I started getting triggered of those patterns in, in my mind. And, and I get emotional because I'm still processing it. I'm still processing how to let go of those negative thoughts. I'm still processing how to change the way of thinking and saying, it's okay. It's okay. Things are going to work out because, you know, I'm the type of person that I like to do things like it has to be perfect. It has to be on time. It has to be this way. I'm the type that I want to get my job done and move on to the next, next task. But as of lately, I felt like I'm getting stuck. I'm getting nervous. I'm forgetting. I'm getting tripped. I'm not understanding the, the assignment. This, that, the other thing. And it got to the point that it became overwhelming. And I felt myself shutting down. Good thing I have three days off to, to recover from this. Because if it was me going to the next day to work, I think I would have quit. But I'm trying to be understanding with myself because I'm being too hard. Because after all, I've been unemployed for three years. And then to go back into a workforce... I'm expecting I'm supposed to do excel like everybody else, like nothing ever happened, like I've never been out of work. And I'm putting unrealistic expectations on myself. And it's becoming really hard because I, I have to take a step back and say, you can't, you're not like everybody else because you've been through so much already. And you have to take it easy. <clears throat> the stress of it all is a fact of trying to accomplish a lot of things at once. Making sure that my household is still intact. Making sure that my children are okay. Making sure that I'm still running a sec you know, my second channel because I, I enjoy doing that. It's my hobby. I enjoy running a second channel. And then adding content to this channel, which, you know, I enjoy sharing my life a bit with you guys. And and pretty much share what's going on in my mind, in my world. So I, I really don't mind doing this. This is m running both channels are my passion. But unfortunately, in reality, I still have to m make a living wage because I have responsibility as an adult to take care of my family. So I don't want to give up anything right now. And then to lift the expectations of you know, helping running a business, you know, as, as my, you know, my new career, it is just really hard. It's just really, really hard. And not having the support system of people that supposedly love you and you can't even turn and have a conversation to say, hey, you know, I'm having a rough day. And that person's nowhere to be found. That makes it really fucking sucks. So I tend to do is I shut down and, and say, you know what? I need a timeout. Because... I can't do it all. I'm going to have to give up something because I'm burning myself out. And I can't let everything run me ragged. And so that's what I've been doing is giving myself that this little bit of time out. Because you know what? As a single parent, it's hard. 
it is hard. I mean, I've done it for years. And then to take this lapse of three years of, you know, dealing with illnesses and dealing with, you know, overcoming depression and dealing with everything else, you know, it, it's, it was, yes, therapeutic because it helped me understand my limitations and what I had to work on. But then to come back into the real world and get back into the, the swing of things, it became, it, it's not easy. It is not easy because it's, it's to a point that I feel like, like I'm being like pinned against the wall and, and I'm trying really hard to stay productive, to stay focused on what my goals are for this year. Because like I mentioned at the beginning of the year about overcoming mountains, that sometimes you're going to feel like you're running out of breath and that you feel like you're going to pass out. This is where I'm at right now. I feel like I'm going to pass out. I feel like I can't even make it, but I'm not giving up. It's, I'm not stating that I'm going to give up something, but I just need to do is take it easy and not burn myself out. And unfortunately, when it comes to people or situations around you, you could do so much. I felt like, like I, I feel I was feeling like me doing this, doing the, the channels, me, you know, doing my, my job my new my new career learning the different aspects of running that business and dealing with the public that's a whole different you know experience that i i never dealt with and then learning the whole technical issues regarding to using a whole new system and then on top of that dealing with people that wants your attention but yet not emotionally available to be there for you. That's also another trigger that it, it was becoming really hard for me because I only could be there for so much, but if there's no reciprocation from another person, how you expect anything to work out? How running any type of relationship, it could be, you know, family, it could be friends, it could be, you know, loved ones, it could be romantic, whatever. If you don't have the, the support, the emotional, the, the, the balance of a good structured relationship with someone you care about, if you don't have that support, with that person, that relationship is not going to work because one sided relationship does not work, especially with the amount of crap that you have to deal with on a daily basis and try to finagle time to make any type of relationship work. It takes a lot of dedication. You can't assume that one person is going to carry the emotional baggage and try to say, Hey, I got you and not get the same expectation from that person right back. That's not realistic. That is something that is just crazy. And you know, and people have this misconstrued, you know, thoughts that, yeah, well, if I give a couple of sweet nothings, you know, hey, you know, honey, I miss you. I love you. Or, hey, you know, sis, I love you. I miss you. That does not consist of a support system. But if you're having a bad day and I turn around out of my, my day that I've been through hell, and I can't share my feelings because you're not available to talk. 
and and share my day with you how you expect me to feel the same with you you know this is where give and take comes in 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 all aspects of life you give and you take and not take 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 and not give 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 back you know and i i put in this type of video out because you know what um i think it's important that if you are involved in any type of relationship that you're you know you are a busy person and we all have busy lives we all have things that we need to take care of responsibilities if you are taking a small amount of time to share and bring a connection to another human being regardless who they are have that respect to give that unconditional love right back to that person that who's being there for you and being supportive because you know what your world is not only revolving around you it takes a teamwork teamwork together to work with each other to understand each other's um perspective whether it's good or bad learn to work with each other as people and this is why this world is so freaking screwed up because nobody wants to work with each other but yet you know they expect a lot from you but yet they can't seem to give you a little bit of respect to say hey you know she's going through something let you know let me help her let me you know give the support that she needs because she's been there for me i you know i don't see that I don't see that in my world and I'm constantly feel like I'm fighting with everyone. And, you know, I think it's important for people to please compromise, meet people halfway, listen, give that time because it's not just about you. The world does not revolve about you. It's about another person too. Because it's not, you know, people have this weird thing about, well, you know, they love me. I'm okay. Let me throw her a little, you know, a little compliment. Or let me just say, you know, I care about you and, I, and everything we find. No, that doesn't work like that. I'm sorry. That's not acceptable. That is not freaking acceptable. And this is why people have this audacity to be like, well, you know, I have my trophies, I have my things that I have important around me, you know, and I'll give out my little bit of time whenever I feel like it. And that's the end of that. No. Sorry. It doesn't work. I think... If, if people don't want to give you any type of respect and, and a little bit of time to have a proper conversation, share your thoughts, share your feelings, share what's going on in your world, then obviously that these are types of relationships that you don't want in your life. Because you are wasting your time. You are wasting your time, your precious um, moments that you could use for other things. Your energy, you're wasting your, your, your energy. And you're going to burn yourself out even more. Not just emotionally, but physically. Today, I'm filming this day on International Women's Day. And I'm thinking about how a lot of us women are always over giving a lot of things. Our time, our resources, our dedication to our families, to our friends, to our work environment, to society, to the community. But we still have a long way to go on gaining that respect back.
to who from whoever you're you know your world is in and unfortunately we need to continue fighting and saying i'm sorry but i'm not going to stand for this crap anymore and i feel like that today i woke up like really i've been crying yes because that's my way of just letting go a lot of the tension that I'm, I've been feeling. But also I'm just giving myself a serious thought and say, you know what, something's gotta change. Because you cannot run yourself ragged while the rest of the world is running okay and saying, you know what, she'll handle it, she'll be all right. Uh-uh, I don't think so. It's time to us women to keep um, putting our boundaries out and giving ourselves the respect. Because you know what? We are very strong. We are definitely very capable of achieving goals. And we proved that time and time again throughout the decades. But also at the same time, we need to have some dedication and time for ourselves to heal our mind, our heart, and our soul. That if everybody wants your attention, everybody wants to run you ragged, you know what? Everybody takes a time out because now it's time for you to take care of yourself. And it's okay, and it's acceptable to do that because you only could do so much. I know this uh, video seems very random out of, out of the norm, but I think that, like I have mentioned on my Facebook, I'm a very strong advocate when it comes to empowering and, and changing our mindset as well as our heart. And pretty much giving ourselves, you know, ways of changing on how we see the world. My views might not always be perfect, but it does come from the heart. And I will always try to do is share my experiences, what I'm going through. And hope, hopefully you could find something that I'm going through and make your own changes in what your circumstance is. And what I'm trying to do today is just, one, decompressing what I'm feeling. But two, trying to give you guys the tools to empower yourself in making your lives a little bit better. So, yeah, I think I feel a little bit better. <laughs> I'm sorry, but um, I just felt so, like, I, I just felt so overwhelmed. And I think with everything that has been going on, you know, things need to change. You know, I'm going through a lot of changes. There's some of them are positive and some of them are very negative. But the negative ones need to be changed too because you can't have everything negative in life. Because if not, it'll make you really angry and bitter. And that's not who I am. Anyway, so thank you for viewing this content. And I uh, catch you guys soon on the next vlog. Bye.